On the 5th of June, 2023, Apple debuted their VR headset called the Vision Pro, and the world reacted. From the ridiculously astonishing price point to the innovations that Apple has promised, the tech geeks around the world are waiting patiently for the release. The headset is set to be available early next year, and as the dying VR headset marker gears up for a revival, it is Meta who somehow find themselves in hot, troubling waters. Meta has been controlling the VR headset market for a long time with their Quest series. As of 2022, 80% of the 21 million headsets sold globally were Meta's Quest 1s and 2s. Just days ago, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg had announced the launch of the Quest 3 VR headsets, which will enter the market later this year. Meta has also put a $499 price point on the Quest 3s, almost seven times less than Apple's Vision Pro. With a dominance in the market and the favorable edge over Apple on pricing, why is Meta worried about losing to Vision Pro? One main reason why Meta is afraid that Apple will take over this sphere is because of the markets both companies are targeting. While the Quest 3 headset appears to be more gaming-centric, Vision Pro seems to have greater workplace uses. This gives Apple a greater user base to choose from. Moreover, Apple is known to have a loyal following meaning that when they release the Vision Pro in the market, there would definitely be consumers waiting to buy. Meta had little to no competition in the headset market for a long time. However, just because Apple plans to enter the VR headset space doesn't mean it'll have guaranteed success. The Apple Vision Pro is Apple's first major product launch in a decade. CEO Tim Cook said at the WWDC 2023 that the Vision Pro is as iconic as the launch of the iPhone or MacBook. Apple has no experience in the VR headset market prior to this, which may offer some challenges to the company. Apple's key features has always been its developer support, software, and ecosystem, where it shines again. Users can do various activities through their Vision Pro, such as make video calls, view streaming media, and play games. The headset features 4K resolution, with no handheld remotes, and a transparent display that blends the digital and real worlds. It even announced a partnership with Disney to deliver premium content for the device's users. At the WWDC 2023, investors had been waiting for a major reveal by Apple. The interest in the company had raised Apple's stock price to over $184 a share. Apple's market cap had reached almost $3 trillion as a result. However, the stock prices soon come back to normal levels after Tim Cook's presentation at the conference, meaning that the investors weren't sold by what they saw on display. There is considerable skepticism among Apple's shareholders, especially regarding the price. Analysts at KeyBank Capital Marketing said that the hype leading into the event felt well overdone. The stock's reaction may seem out of line for Apple. Most of the company's launches are met with enthusiasm and the stock does well on the announcement days. This time around, Apple's hype gimmick failed, as stock closed 0.8% less after the Vision Pro's release. An analyst at DA Davidson lowered his rating on Apple to neutral from buy, and his target price to price target to $185 from $193. He argued that the headset offers an increase in short-term sales and profit outlook, but this is due to its drastically high price. The expected price for the Vision Pro headsets was around $2,000 to $3,000, which was already a very high price point. Apple, however, had different ideas when they priced it even higher. At $3,499, the product has become so exclusive that the casual buyer is simply priced out of the market. Apple has tried that approach in the past as well, but the VR and AR markets are new to the company. In comparison, Meta prices its headsets more reasonably with the Quest Pros going for as high as $1,499. The Quest Pros, however, have not made the impact that Meta thought it would have. The Quest Pros reception was so underwhelming that Meta had to drop the retail price to around the $1,000 mark. They're hoping that Quest 3 would improve on the issues that Quest Pro has to have any chance at limiting Apple's success. For Apple stockholders, the stock has been doing fairly well since the start of the year. The enthusiasm around the Vision Pro played a key role in driving up the stock price up 38% since the start of the year. Despite the small drop in valuation after the Vision Pro's management, most analysts still believe the stock to be significantly overpriced. As such, the Vision Pro's sales will have to be massive to justify the bloated share price. Another hurdle for Apple to overcome is the ridiculously low battery life. 
The Vision Pro has a battery life of merely two hours with external battery support. Apple has been ridiculed online for this. With a 6500 mAh battery pack, two hours of running time is the best Apple is offering. It's suggested that Apple may improve battery life for future models of the Vision Pro. There's also the rumor that Apple will charge customers to purchase extra battery pucks for better runtime. However, the problem with bigger batteries seems to be the functionality of the headset. A bigger battery will mean a heavier headset. Apple has not released details about the weight of the Vision Pro, but analysts suggest they will try to make it as light as possible. As such, even an increase from 6500 mAh to 10,000 mAh battery packs cause a significant increase in weight. Meta's Quest series offers a 3-hour runtime, alongside an optional Elite strap specialized to double the battery life of the headset. The battery specs for Quest 3 have not yet been released, but it is expected they'll offer a runtime higher than 2 hours. For a headset that's 7 times as pricey as the Quest headsets, people expected better functionality and battery life from Apple. Meta's Quest series has other issues to face. Despite being a low-cost entry into the VR space, Quest 2 and Quest Pro failed to make a significant impact on the market. One key issue coming up with a Quest headset is its comfortability issues. Users have complained about the headset hurting the side of their head, forehead, and ears. It's expected that Meta will feature a better strap on the Quest 3. Apple, on the other hand, has introduced a soft light seal headband. This allows better breathability and comfort with adjusting straps. Both the Quest 3 and the Vision Pro will offer full-color pass-through, allowing mixed reality functionality. The Quest 3 will be the first in the Quest series to be able to do that. The Quest 3 will continue to function through external motion controllers, which are shipped along with the headsets. Apple's Vision Pro moves completely based on voice control and hand gestures. The Vision Pro can be controlled through Bluetooth controllers. Apple is using its leading M2 processors that are also used in the Macs to power Vision Pros. These are paired with a new R1 chip, which is responsible for handling camera and sensor data. The MetaQuest 3, on the other hand, is going to be using Snapdragon Qualcomm XR2 chips, derived from the smartphone chips. In performance, Meta's chips cannot match the M2 and R1 chips of the Vision Pro. The higher performance chips are complemented with Apple's superior display qualities. Apple hasn't given out official specs yet, but they did say that 23 million pixels will be packed into the Vision Pro's twin internal displays. As such, 4K quality can be expected from the headsets. However, Meta has a long way to go to achieve 4K quality displays, which the Quest 2 failed to achieve. Users of the Quest 3 prototype have told Bloomberg that it's not much of an improvement to the previous models. Apple will also provide access to apps like FaceTime and Zoom in the Vision Pro. Its 3D camera can create a persona of the wearer, which is considered a huge step towards immersion, allowing a seamless connection between your physical and digital self. The 3D camera can also shoot videos with depth tools. Meta is lagging behind because they don't have a vast library of content that can connect to the Quest headsets. But you don't have to lag behind on up-to-date news about the latest developments in the world of AI, finance, and technology. Click like on the video as it helps the channel out so we can keep providing value to you. With the world comparing Apple and Meta, Mark Zuckerberg has come out to give his verdict on the matter. In a company meeting, the Meta CEO said that Apple's Vision Pro might be what the future of computing could look like. However, according to Zuckerberg, Apple's product does not offer anything more than what Meta offers in its Quest headsets. Zuckerberg believes that the approach Apple have with their headset is different to what he wants from the Quest headsets. A business model cannot exist if it doesn't solve a problem. So what problem does the Vision Pro solve? Apple has taken on the job to revolutionize the way people view the world. The average American spends around 6 hours a day on their phones and 4 hours on their computers. However, once augmented reality becomes mainstream, chances are that these devices will phase out eventually. The augmented reality headsets will allow the wearer to see into the real world and access apps, browse the internet, and explore the virtual world all while wearing the headset. The gap between the virtual world and the real world will be almost eliminated. While Vision Pro is priced at a very ambitious mark, especially for a first-generation product, it's widely regarded as the gateway into a changing technological landscape. The future models are expected to be better and far more accessible. Had Apple not made such an ambitious product, the market could have well been taken over by Meta. 
If Meta had been at the front of the virtual reality headset revolution, the market for iPhone and MacBook would have suffered greatly. Apple knows that the market for smartphones and computers will reach its cap one day. The Vision Pro is their way of preparing for the future. The VR headset wave has seen notable competitors over the years, but Meta has made their niche market its own. At the same time, it's also true that the market had been dying since a lack of innovation had made it unattractive for a lot of customers. With chunkier models and a lack of functionality, the VR headsets have been failing to attract crowds. Meta is worried that Apple's Vision Pro will take the spotlight and market away from its Quest series. The virtual reality segment is key to Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse ambitions. Meta has already taken huge losses to kickstart the metaverse project, but its dying demand has meant that Zuckerberg has been forced to take some focus away from it. This could mean potentially coming second fiddle to Apple in the VR sphere as well. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Apple has produced a product of such magnitude. The Vision Pro is a result of a nearly decade-long project by the Apple's technology development group, better known as the TDG. The market was dominated by models from Oculus and HTC and was nowhere near good quality. To offer immersive experience and 4K displays within a decade of its development, Apple sure has outdone itself on the product side. With the augmented reality market set to be worth in the billions in the near future, the phenomena of the real-world web are seemingly on the horizon. One of the greatest concerns with the VR market is how it might expose users to data collection. Apple's Vision Pro is going to be incorporating eye trackers to operate the device. Other VR headsets are also set to launch similar eye tracking technology. The movement of the eye can be noted to check the user's concentration levels. This data can be sold to advertisers, which would be a major breach of privacy. So what can we expect in the first few years of this revolution? With Meta and Apple set to go head-to-head -head with their VR headset, the market is still too young to completely take off the space from smartphones and computers. That's a prospect for the future. Apple's price point has made sure that the product will have to blow fans away to justify spending $3,499 on it. Meta has the advantage of being reasonably priced. With the Vision Pro, the hype around VR headsets is definitely going to spike up. However, customers may decide that despite the less features, it's more reasonable spending around $500 on Quest 3 than to go for Vision Pros. Meta will be releasing the Quest 3 before Christmas, meaning they will penetrate the market and see potentially high sales around the holiday season. For investors of both companies, the next year will be an interesting time, with share prices likely to fluctuate heavily depending on the market response to the headsets. Meta has to improve on the technology aspect, while Apple has to make sure that they can offer more accessible options sooner rather than later. The potential for both companies is huge. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.